Now, it was always quite obvious that uh, anyone raised and born in a town like this, kept away from the prying gaze of the sun, wasn't exactly going to have the happiest of childhoods. But, but put yourself in Skior's uh, footsteps right now. The person she's looked up to all these years and fought, died horribly in a fire, has murdered the man who has gained your affection. Even in a world like Gintama, where sword fighting and bloodshed is part of daily life, it's not something that can be easily overlooked. Now, of course, we can all be pretty certain that in the end, Gintoki will come out victorious. But will there be any more losses along the way? I don't think he's going to go down without a fight. Yeah, I'm not... Certain I'm going to be able to forget his extreme sunburn anytime soon. It is nice after seeing battles with people who just go in with sheer strength or samurai spirit. But as someone who's trained in the arts of Subdu subterfuge. That's probably assassination. And isn't exactly looking for a fair fight. It's quite a good mask, though, to hide his... Uh... Affliction. It is shocking how no one in this world... Well, I say almost not. Almost no one in this world, unless it's part of their design carries any scars from wounds that they've suffered. It's only when it's a storyline expedient that uh, anyone actually suffers any uh, prolonged harm. And that does, up, does bring up a question. When Elizabeth gets injured, does she go to the vets, the hospital, or the tailors? And I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before, but the fact that Gintoki still <sighs> clings to the the way of the samurai and all that, but uses the wooden sword. It's usually the quiet ones who are scary when they're angry. And that is why the others in charge distanced himself him from them. You filled that a bit full. As long as the coin is good. But I'm sure that there are some out there who would 
hold themselves to a certain standard and use their skills to protect other things other than just their wallet. So, fanaticism, once again. How is that undercover? Surely having wounds like that would just make it harder to go unnoticed. Just wear a mask. Going back into when the Amanto came and the Shogun and all that. I'm glad we're seeing more of that storyline there. Getting a bit fleshed out. Is he going to... Continue talking, even when there is no ice left for his whiskey. Hmm. I wonder who that was. So he was disgraced and discredited even after completing his task. You mean he's not going to take any unnecessary risks? I'm curious to see where this analogy goes. That's when he finally strikes. I hope no one's got arachnophobia. So is that also how he sees Well, shit. I don't think hiding behind your sleeves will work, but it's not going to be easy to take down. I take that back. I thought the final battle there would be better. So other than his own desire of destruction and whatever, what does he actually work for now?
Gotta use a coaster. Hmm. Oh, how the threads interweave. Unfortunately, that's not an, not really an option. <clears throat> he doesn't do things by halves. How much does he spend on piano wire? He's probably got a uh, specialist supplier where he makes his own. That is a relatively efficient way of spreading fire, though. As long as the threads themselves hold up. As if we needed more... More reason to think that he's a bit of a nut job. Even if they had a well skilled fire department, it's going to be a difficult to put this up. Destroy the web. That as well. As long as the web isn't occupied by uh, more than one or there's a new spider takes home in refuge. Congratulations, but that's your screen time over. It's not like the mother can run. Huh. Is, yeah, I was about to say, is that a bit of fear or just resolute rage and anger? <laughs> that answers that question. Thank you, slight intermission. When everyone is running to try to escape, the person who's strolling nonchalantly is probably the one you want to keep an eye on. I'm not sure what she can really do in this situation, but she is feeding his satisfaction by reacting like that. Funny that. Is there any rhyme or reason as to where and which ones are vanishing? I 
I wouldn't say doing a flip is uh, the most efficient. But a weapon that is both strong against fire and water, the umbrella. That's a fast spreading fire across the roof. Being the pseudo light of the place, of course, you would take a leadership role. If it was up to her, sure, she would return in an instant. After he was talking about how he set up these explosives. Oh. I wonder if she's slightly... ...happy that uh, the Big Bang didn't actually go off. Good. I'm guessing the Hemorrhoids Ninja got together a task force. Yep. Plausible deniability. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I have accidentally slipped. A interesting proposition. It's a good payment method. Instead of using money, it's like, well, you can only really use this this card here, so you better do a good job. We haven't seen him do a, a good job very often. Did they go above his expectations here? It's what you'll get for underestimating. Resigning herself to the fate isn't what he wants. See? <laughs> Your strength doesn't seem all too great for the what you'd have to sacrifice.
There really wasn't any need to build that web for her unless he's just going all in on the act of spider. Just seems unnecessary. Then fight a mirror. Don't get others involved. So, because she hasn't turned out to be such a complete fuck-up as he apparently is. Yeah. That was the next step I thought of, because he destroyed his face. That's not hers? Hopefully? More than likely. Got to make an entrance, Gintoggy. Stabbing for the hand? Meh, nothing. Twisting the wound once it's in there. Ooh. Finish the job. You know, double tap. Why'd you take your eyes off of him? You know what's going to happen now. Unless Gintama just pulls the... Um, he's disappeared. This storyline is now over. For the time being. But having the complete antithesis of what Gintoki stands for in this ninja guy who doesn't need anyone, has never relied on anyone, is... I would say he sees everyone else as stepping stones, but... No. no. He sees them as actual sustenance and food. Which is arguably worse. Is Gimpach Sensei? Hmm. Don't do it! Don't do it! Ah, oh, man, actually, just like the artist. I feel like everyone goes through that stage at least once when they attempt to draw, so I can't draw. Once you accept that fact, hmm. <laughs> I've been drawing pictures of Naruto. Go ask him then, yeah? No? Fair play.
What was that? Now, I've never quite understood why people would flock to work under a, uh, under a, someone like this. We saw that little gang there all be like, ha ha, we are scary thugs. Cool, so you want to be generic movie bad guy cannon fodder? Hmm. High, high ambitions you have there. And when it comes to her appearance, I really don't see why that just... Why is that such a detractor? A fully burnt off face with big bulging eyes on the other hand might be something slightly harder to look past. I wonder how this is actually going to end though because we see how... She kind of feels about everyone, and Gintoki in particular. And Gintoki isn't exactly new to people having feelings for him. But is it reciprocated? And if so, that would kind of change up the dynamic of the show. I think we can all agree, though, that her responses to what he was doing here wasn't the greatest. If anything, it only stood to wind him up even further. You would think that someone that he trained personally and has a bit of insight like she does would know not to be so incredibly meek in his presence. But if you have enjoyed Gintama and you are eagerly awaiting more, you're in luck, because there probably is. If you can't see it, check out the channel. If you're still struggling, subscribe. If you worked it out all by yourself, subscribe as well. But while you're here, leave a like on the video and uh, comment down below. And I've been putting it off for a little while, but I think I smell something burning. So I'm going to go see what that might be. Hopefully it's just my imagination from watching this episode. We'll find out. Join me in the next one though. If you want to spin your web and keep me locked up in the threads of my channel, then consider joining on to Patreon. So far, Sal, Raywin, Electrocant, Denimet1997, Xiuan, Jennifer Rojas, Mecha, Stinsfire, Big Boy, Dark Shadow, 7899 and everyone else have laid out their plan. Granted it doesn't have too many steps, but I am now forced to look after you for quite a while.